Hello. Lasagna. I'm not going to tell that one. That's just kind of gross. So how's everybody doing tonight? You guys come to hear some jokes? One person. That's awesome because I only have like 12 jokes. So if we didn't have more people, um, you guys would have to share, like buddy up. <laughs> but I think we're good. So the rest of you, did you just come to like kind of sit and bum everybody out? Or <laughs> and just one guy in the back is like, this guy's not going to make me laugh. Nope. <laughs> I know what funny is. This guy's not funny. Jeff Dunham's funny. This guy's no Jeff Dunham. His wife, Tina, is just like, Jerry, stop making a scene. Tina's kind of a bitch. Shut up, Tina. They've been having some problems. It'll be, you know, this is kind of the boiling point. I digress. Uh, <laughs> off to a great start. Uh, so do you guys think that... Um, Helen Keller gave really wordy hand jobs. <laughs> or maybe that um <laughs> like when she came home from her day at the school for the deaf that her boyfriend was really excited to hear about how her day went. <laughs> or maybe it was just like that one word over and over. I don't know. <laughs> oh, somebody groaned. <laughs> Fuck you. I want to make a. I wanted to make a movie about um, a Latino kid hanging out at the playground and his uh, adventures foiling the neighborhood child molester. <laughs> but the name Alien vs. Predator was already taken. <laughs> Stop groaning! It's not that bad. <laughs> I think that. Um, for facilities that have the word lab in them, to have such a shitty track record, they would call meth lab something else. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. I worded it. I fucked it up. <laughs> Free pass, guys. Free pass. No biggie. So uh, I found that um, I react the same to somebody asking me if I want to go exercise as I would if they had asked me if I wanted to go ch child molesting afterwards. We were talking a lot about child molesting. I apologize. <laughs> but it's like a guy uh, at work was like, hey, you want to go jog with me after work? I'm like, N ew. Fuck, fuck no. No. Get the fuck out of here. I think that's the difference between healthy people and um, people who aren't so, who can't, well, so, um, <laughs> I don't like I don't like exercise because I feel like it's it's just they come up with so many bullshit names for things. I don't get it. Like my grandfather was in World War II and he had like three exercises maybe like push ups and pull ups and and stabbing Nazis. <laughs> and he was pretty ripped for a while, you know. But now it's like I went to the gym and this guy was like, "All right, we're gonna get you in shape, man. We're gonna do some uh, we do some." He started off. Like, we're doing some jumping jacks. We're going to warm up a little bit. I'm like, all right, whatever. And he's like, all right, we're going to do some 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 deep divers. I'm like, I don't know what that is. Uh, we're going to do some, some rectal reach arounds. Wait, what? <laughs> like, right here next to the treadmills? <laughs> we're going to do some rusty trombones? I'm pretty sure that that's not what we came here for. <laughs> I don't know. I know that... Um, People that exercise usually seem a lot happier. And uh, so if I could find a trainer that was kind of more like he got me a little more, that it wouldn't be so bad. Like if I went to the trainer and he's like, all right, we're going to start off with two minutes of of uh, your Uncle Kyle told you to keep it a secret. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to follow it up with a solid 15 reps of... Uh, body shame issues <laughs> and finish it off with two sets of um, your dad was never around <laughs> best workout of my life <clears throat> yikes <sighs> I gotta try to remember what I was gonna talk about um, I feel okay full disclosure I um, a lot of the time I will drive around by myself 
specifically to eat tacos. <laughs> because I don't want my girlfriend to see how many tacos I eat or the horrifying way in which I eat them. Uh, now, I want you people to understand that I lie to other people so that I can eat tacos. <laughs> and let that sink in for just a second. Uh, not only will I go and buy a lot of tacos and then drive around and eat them, but I will then, I'll make sure that like at least one trash can is on my route back <laughs> so that I can dispose of the evidence. I, uh, so I, I, I make up alibis and I, <laughs> dispo I have plans and I don't do it because I need to, uh, or want to. It's because it's a, it's, a, it's just something that has to happen. Like I have to do. I'm like the Dexter of eating tacos <laughs> while driving. I am a, like a fat, shameful Dexter is all that is. I'm seriously like, um, I don't know if you've ever tried to eat tacos while driving, but there's no good way to do it. I mean, because it's a fucking taco. It's ta I mean, I don't know how to describe. If you turn, you have to tilt your head, and if you don't, you do it a sandwich, and then it's like a double-edged sword because there's like one side is fine, and then there's lettuce everywhere out this way, and it's a <laughs> fucking nightmare. I'm trying, I'm screaming for help from you people, and you're <laughs> it's. <laughs> like, how many tacos do I have to start trying to eat while I'm behind the wheel before it's comparable to a high blood alcohol content? <laughs> or not sleeping for 24 hours. That's what I'm, I'm like, I'm one awkward head tilt away from legislation being passed <laughs> to outlaw the thing that everybody should know already not to do behind the wheel. It's like Stephen's Law. If you see somebody eating fucking tacos while driving, call the cops. Because I guarantee you that's not currently on law enforcement radar, but it should be. Jesus. Uh, I forgot my next set. Does anybody else want to call a friend? No? Okay. Um, I'll, end, I'll end with this. Uh, so I, um, I work in an office. And uh, I don't know if anybody works in an office. Anybody work in an office? I know how bullshit it is. That's that one person. Uh, so I, uh, I'm the guy in charge of sending out emails if something in the office fucks up. Uh, so like, like, oh, the water fountain's broken. Nobody used the water fountain. Thanks. Uh, the other, uh, when the, we had the ice storm, the pipes froze and the bathrooms fucked up. And now they couldn't just turn off the one bathroom. They had to turn off all the bathrooms. So I had to send out the email that's like, hey, don't go to the bathroom. <laughs> Which we're all assuming, like, there's an, op there's an office. These are adults. They know how to work computers. They're fairly intelligent. No problem, right? Guess again. Prepare to understand how naive and foolish you all have been for assuming that. <laughs> Ten minutes. After I send out the don't go to the bathroom email, it was the fucking Hunger Games at my desk. <laughs> I've got people demanding, like, where are we going to go to the bathroom? I don't know. Go across, go anywhere else. Just don't go in that bathroom. I, one guy got up in my face, and he was like, you listen to me. I just had a cup of coffee about 10 minutes ago, <laughs> and in about 30 minutes, I'm going to have to shit somewhere. <laughs> Like, it was a threat. <laughs> like, I'm going to come back, and he's going to be hunched over my desk, like, I told you this would happen. <laughs> like, fuck off. And then, on top of that, somebody shit in the bathroom anyway. <laughs> and somebody went to the bathroom on top of that. So I had to send out that email <laughs> telling somebody that to, not to poop on the poop. <laughs> I'm a grown-up. I had to file a resume to get this job. <laughs> and this is something I can't put on that resume for another. Oh, yeah, I informed an office full of people that they shouldn't shit on other people's shit. <laughs> I was the lead on that. <laughs> More or less, you know. Um, what's my time? No, nobody cares. Cool, sweet, sweet action. Infinite time limits. Love you all. Um...
<laughs> okay. I know, right? I found out I have more time and I'd fucking get up. Damn it. Okay. Anybody like dogs? Yeah. yeah I really like dogs. Uh, I found out that uh, my friends paid money for a dog. And that blew my fucking mind. Because I've always lived here in the South. And I don't know if any of you have had a similar experience. But you never, you never pay for a dog. You just don't have to. They just like... It's not something that you buy, and it's like, oh, Christmas morning, happy, you know, happy Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. We got you a dog. Yay. No, it's like, oh, look what wandered up onto the porch. It's missing a leg. <laughs> It'll be fine. You know, and, you know, for three months, while it lives, it's going to be the most loyal thing that ever came up covered in snow until the mange claims it. <laughs> it's going to be beautiful. Five hundred dollars, five hundred dollars for a dog. Like, what? Wow, like, I don't love anything enough to pay five hundred dollars for it. And the dog that they got was like a like an English bulldog, and it's like the fucking big eyes and ugly faces. And like, if it gets too, f if it gets too excited, its fucking eyeball could pop out. That's amazing. Like, you paid money for that? Really? They snore. You have to get a surgery on top of the paying the ridiculous amount. To fix the dog's sleep apnea. <laughs> That's amazing to me. I don't, like I said, I don't love anything enough. It's like, my own grandmother, if I had to put her eyeball back in her fucking head on a regular basis, <laughs> yeah, it's just game over. <laughs> but no, it'd be like, listen, family meeting. Huddle up. Take a knee, everybody. Get that out of your mouth and come here. Listen. We all love, we all love grandma. But I swear to God, if that bitch shits on the floor one more time, <laughs> it's fucking over. I don't want to go. No, just shut up. You stop. You put your eyeball back in your head, bitch. <laughs> uh, I'm done. Fuck it. You guys are, you guys are great. Thank you.